In this video, we'll be discussing the Test Project Report section. Each time you execute a test, be it either a recorded test or a coded test written with the Test Project Open SDK, a beautiful test report will be automatically generated for you within our Detailed Dashboards and Analytics section in the platform. You can access the report section either from the UI or in case of a recorded test or job by clicking this icon. The report section is split into projects, where each project contains the executions of tests and jobs that are from that specific project. Included in the reports are detailed velocity reports and statistics, as you can see here. Inside the report of a specific execution, we can find more details about what happened during our test run. As we can see, we can view the statistics of how many steps in our test passed against how many failed. We can view which browser the test was executed on. And we can view the status of each step in our test. As we can see, only step 6 failed. If we open step 6, we'll be able to see where during our test this step failed by opening the provided screenshot. We can also view the detailed error message telling us why this step failed. This step failed because the specific paragraph we were searching in did not contain the text we were looking for. We can also download the DOM of the application if you would like to check the page structure during the specific part of the test. In addition to what's on the platform, each report can be generated into an either summary report or full PDF report. The report will contain the same information you get to see on the test project platform, as well as the screenshots. In addition to the reports on the platform, you'll be able to add either email or webhook notifications to jobs that will send statistics and reports to your email or webhook. As you can see, after the job finished execution, I've been emailed a report containing statistics. From here, I can access the full report on test project.